I'm going to take a deep dive. will come to life again. Right. Get on it, Tracy. We're on our way, Chief. Warden Dawes calling state prison. It's been a long night, and I've got to get some rest. I just don't understand how bad Tom did. Intergem escapes, and we haven't got a clue. Intergem? Yes, Tess, Intergem is a worldwide network of jewel thieves. I wonder where he'll strike next. Hi, look at this. The world's largest ruby, the Star of Omar, will be presented at the Diplomats' Ball. Yes, 40 nations will be represented at this historic event. And Flattop will be there, too, I'll bet. In a clever disguise, no doubt. Tess? I think you and I should be among the honored guests, and I'll have a little surprise for Mr. Flattop. I'll have a little surprise, too. This way to the shore of Flattopia! Oh, my. Okay, Mojam, you know what to do. Blacktop yet, Dick? Not so far. Your invitation, sir! Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Aha! A forged invitation. All the genuine invitations were chemically treated. He certainly doesn't look like Blacktop. Thank you, sir! Here he comes. An exquisite gem, is it not? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Sam, put Plan B into operation. Ah! Hey, right, Tracy. The emergency generator is on. The star of Omar is gone. Calling Sam. Go ahead with Plan C. Check. All exits secured. Are you going to search everybody, Dick? No, I can't do that, Tess. It would cause international repercussions. I want you to accidentally spill this on our friend, the Maharaja. I'm sorry, sir, but, uh... But you gotta let me in. I'm on a case for the police. You know, plain clothes man. Uh, you look more like an old clothesman. <laughs> oh. Watch it, chick. Uh, I mean, uh, forgive my clumsiness. Excuse me. Hey, you're not dumb broad and messed up. I get up, I'll get her in the day or night. All right, Sam. Our electronic x-ray mirror will tell the story. Jackpot! There's the ruby. And flat top! But I tell you, I'm a... No, so Get lost, kid. <laughs> All right, flat top. Come quietly, you're under arrest. Out of my way. Oh, 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 no steel dog can stand up to my vapor ray gun. After him, Sam. Flat top! You and the last row loop I might take it out of here. Oh! Step on it, Mojo. Laptop's got Junior. I'll radio for a roadblock. Not yet, Sam. There's no telling what he'll do to Junior or the Ruby. I've got a better plan. Tracy will get you, Laptop. He won't 
time nothing with you as my hostage, kid. I'll bet you stole the ruby, didn't you? Let's just say I'm keeping that under my hat. <laughs> This just right. Mojab, watch those bumps. Well, I finally outsmarted the great dick. Crazy! Give me that. Ah! Okay, Sam, go ahead with the roadblock. For an even longer stretch flat top behind bars. Well, Tracy, your handling of the start of Omar case has avoided an international crisis. And with flat top back in prison, his worldwide organization is powerless. And just think, I almost botched the whole deal. No, Junior, you were a big help. Thanks to you, flat top slipped up. Really? How? You made him feel overconfident. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Dick Tracy, he's a good cop. Dick Tracy, he's a good cop. He's a good cop. Because here comes the world's greatest detective, Dick Tracy! Lock off for lunch, boys. What do you say? He says the X-ray laser scope is working fine. Mumble says he spotted the stuff. He says there's a cool 50 million in furs. Mumbles is activating the anti-gravity ray. The furs! They're gone! But how? Mumble. Easy, Chief. How can I take it easy when this cheap crook flaunts his crimes in our faces? Hey, Chief, Mumbles has cut in on the monitor again. Mumbles says, how do you like them apples, coppers? <laughs> Mumbles says, why can't the great Dick Tracy stop me? <laughs> That's just what I propose to do. <laughs> what do he say? He says this is our biggest haul yet. Professor Transo. You are wanted in class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Mumbles. Huh? What do he say? He says this language school of mine is a perfect front for his smuggling racket. With this device, I can pinpoint the source of an electronic impulse within the city. Hey, see, what's the meaning of this headline? Mumbles behind bars within 24 hours vows crazy. We'd be the laughing stock of the nation. Sorry, Chief. I had to plant that challenge to get a rise out of Mumbles. Well, you're getting it. He's cutting in on the monitor again. Ah, uh, I've been waiting for this. Tracy, Mumble says he's going to pull the biggest caper of his career, and you cannot stop him. He says, Tracy, you have had it. Correction, I've got it. You mean you know where Mumbles was broadcasting from? Well, it's the corner of Catalpa and Ravenswood. Let's see what's there. That's the Translation School of Languages. Well, I'd be recognized, but not you two. How would you like to become language students? Wait, love it. What's the big caper, Mumbles? <gasps> A billion dollars in gold dust. You say these are electronic X-ray glasses, Dick? Right. They'll enable you to see through walls and transmit your view back to us. Now, as soon as you enroll, start looking around. We'll be nearby, so good luck. Thanks, Dick. Mumble says, get the submarine ready. Okay, Transo. Yes, <laughs> Yeah, Mumble. 
Charles? It was smart of you to set up our operation over the city storm drain. The professor will be right with you. Anything on Moon Maid's monitor yet, Sam? Uh, uh, nothing unusual yet. Hold it, Sam. I think I've got something on Junior's screen. It's Mumbles. A junior calling Tracy. There he is. We'll grab him. No, no, Junior, don't do it. Whoa! No! Mumble says what happened? A couple of cops. They're with Tracy. Mumble says bring him to the sub. Tracy won't try anything as long as we have him. He's right, Sam. We'll just have to play it by ear. Okay, Mumbles. We'll take him below. What do you know? Mumbles is putting the kids into a submarine. My monitor's going blank. So is mine. It must be the metal in the sub. How can we track about if we've lost contact? Every storm drain leads to the back. Let's get to the sea skimmer. What do he say? He says, there's the boat with the gold dust. Activate the electronic hull snorkel. <laughs> sub, all right. So that's Mumble's caper, huh? What a get it. That ship is carrying a billion in gold dust. Whoa! Unless we get there fast, Mumble's will get away with the gold, and you'll have no further need for Junior and Moon Maid. <laughs> Mumble says we've got all the gold dust. Let's get going. Uh-oh. It looks like the police. <laughs> Mumble says it must be Tracy. Send the gyro jammer. It'll knock out the controls on Tracy's craft. Quick, Sam, the demagnetizer. Mumble says head out to sea. There, kids, you're free. Reactivate the gyro jammer and take her up, Sam. Got to turn that sub back before they reach the open sea. didn't think you could do it, but you kept your promise. You put Mumbles behind bars in 24 hours. What's that, Tracy? Tracy says, thanks, Chief. Now, how about my day off? <laughs> Chief, I'll get on it right away. Dick Tracy calling Hippo Calorie, calling Hippo Calorie. I read you, Tracy. Mumbles and his partner, Stooge Villa, have just stolen a tank from the city armory. Get it back, Heap. I'll get right on it, Tracy. Six to an even, over and out. The famous adventures of Mr. Magoo. You'll see me, Mr. Magoo, the great actor, uh, play a part of a hood. This is so easy, I almost feel ashamed. The armored truck should cross this intersection at 11 on the nose. Yeah, loaded with two million clams. Moneysville. Your scratching spoils my concentration. Two million bucks makes me itch. Now, just before the truck hits the intersection here, we block off the street fast. The boys in the tail car move in and blast it open. Kaboom! 
crazy, man. Two million cold cash waiting to be thawed out. And look at those poor slobs working this time of night for buttons. Yeah, they ought to get paid extra for drowning out the sound of shooting. <laughs> Living on the nose. Get ready for the party. Hold it! Everybody freeze! You're all covered! It's Dick Tracy! Let's get out of here, fast! Get the others. This is the end of the line. Drop your guns and lean against the wall. Click like a 21 jewel watch, Chief. Send the wagon for a load of sad sacks. We're around the clock. We've got the mob ready to push the panic button. But I've got a hunch they'll make a big play to get out in front. Hello! This is it, Chief. I see. Flight 717. Squinty eyes. I've got it. Thanks. That was Interpol headquarters in Paris. An American hood in exile has just taken flight 717 for the States. His name's Squinty Eyes. Squinty Eyes, sure. I remember him. Hatchet man for the mob. Suspected of several killings, but never convicted. Yes, here he is. Been out of the country over 10 years now. Was finally convicted of several bombings and deported from the Play country. Up, huh? <laughs> Where's the stuff? It's down in Flat Top's car. I'll see you later. After your job. Flat Top's going with you. Hey, listen, prune face. You know I always do a single. <laughs> I mean, look, I work alone. Not anymore, little man. But uh, what about Tracy? I've got to case him. You know, it uh, takes time to set these things up. It's already set up for you, Squinty Eyes. Let's go, Squinty Eyes. I want to see the master at work. He should have left there hours ago. I don't think I should ever have talked him into this. I'm afraid it doesn't look good. And I'm afraid that it's my fault for sending Magoo out there. Don't blame yourself, Dick. I'm going to do a little checking, Chief. I'll keep in touch with you. Just a bit shaken. I, I got out just in time. I don't think we'll find any clues in that mess. I already have. This note from Mr. Magoo warning me was on my steering wheel. Boy, he certainly learned all about demolition in a hurry. This is the reason they sent for Squinty Eyes. To get you, Tracy. Yes. And our number one project is to protect Magoo. Uh-uh. Are you all right, Squinty Eyes? <laughs> of course I'm all right. <laughs> I never felt better in my life. Well, boys, you don't have to worry about Tracy anymore. <laughs> and I, I guess I'll be taking off. <laughs> I don't think I've met you before. My name is Squinty Eyes. What a coincidence. So's mine. Say! Who is this bum? I smell a rat. Maybe two rats. Faster. I'm flooring it now, Tracy. Who the little rat was? We'll probably never know. It'll sure be an explosive reunion when Tracy gets there.
Mr. Magoo, I'll never forgive myself for getting you in such jeopardy. Well, as William Shakespeare once wrote, all is well and ends well. Nice of you to take it this way, Mr. Magoo. <laughs> when this story hits the papers, it'll be worth a million dollars of publicity to me. Mr. Magoo, this story must never, under any circumstances, reach the papers. You must never breathe a word of it to anyone. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Well, you see, Mr. Magoo, the mob is expanding. They will stop at nothing to gain their ends. If they ever find out that it was Mr. Magoo, the famous actor that outwitted them, your life wouldn't be worth a plugged nickel. Ah, me. Oh, oh, the fickleness of fate. Now my public will never hear of the greatest performance of my career. <laughs> but... Nothing. We can't tip our hand while Taz is in there. I just adore poodles. That dame is one of Dick Tracy's crew. Grab her, boys. Ray should do it. Steady, ladies. We'll soon be out of here. <laughs> 